What's going on guys, David here bringing you guys an awesome ASIC Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a fully automatic, full harvesting sugarcane farm that will get you a ton of sugar for all your sugarcane needs. And guys, the redstone on this farm is absolutely simple. If you guys just follow the directions, it is super simple. An unborn baby could probably do this. But before we get into this video guys, make sure to drop a like. Let's go for 30 likes on this video. I know you guys can freaking do it because you guys are absolutely beast mode people. And also guys, make sure to subscribe because I'm posting daily awesome ASIC Minecraft content on my channel. Anyways, let's get into this video but before we get into the actual tutorial on how to actually build this bad boy you will need a couple of items for the actual farm for one layer you will need 18 pieces of dirt one water bucket 18 pieces of sugarcane four redstone torches 18 pieces of redstone and 18 pistons unfortunately guys this is only one layer of the farm but might i say the rewards are pretty sweet and then for the timer part of the farm you will need 10 pieces of redstone one redstone torch one dropper one block of redstone two sticky pistons three hoppers one redstone comparator and one redstone repeater. And then for the collection area, you will need yourself a hopper and two chests. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial side of things. Alrighty guys, the first thing that you guys want to do is put down nine blocks in a row like I am doing in the background. And like I mentioned in the beginning guys, these blocks can be any type of blocks you guys want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be rocking the iron blocks because they're kind of my favorite block. Alrighty guys, after you guys have that done, what you guys want to do is put a block right beside the first block in the row. Then you guys want to put a dirt block on top of that and make that row come out like I am doing in the background on both sides sides how easy was that then after that what you guys want to do is put a block down at the end of the row like i am doing in the background and then guys in front of the block you guys want to put down your water and there you guys have it you have successfully built the first part of this farm then after that you guys want to delete the two end blocks like i'm doing in the background and then you guys want to put down your sugar cane then you guys want to go behind the sugar cane and then put down a row of blocks like i'm doing in the background then what you guys want to do is take out your normal pistons and then put them down on the blocks how easy is that then what you guys want to do is come to the row where you guys put down your water you guys want to put down blocks like I'm doing in the background then what you guys want to do is put down redstone torches on top of them then you guys want to put down another block on top of the redstone torches and then put down some more redstone torches and as you guys can see the redstone torches should go out blocks behind and beside the pistons then what you guys want to do is put redstone on those blocks how easy is this redstone I told you guys in the beginning of the video the redstone on this bad boy is so sick simple man a unborn baby could do this anyways let's move on to the next part alrighty guys now I'm actually gonna show you how to stack all these guys together alrighty guys the first thing that you guys want to do is put down a block on the redstone if you guys hit the redstone correctly it should let you put a block on top of that then you guys want to do this on both sides and guys remember also make sure to put down a block on top of the redstone torches as well then what you guys want to do is put down another set of redstone torches like I'm doing in the background and then on top of the redstones you guys want to place down another block and then put redstone torches on them and again the redstone torches should go out then what you guys want to do is take your dirt and where you see the glowing torch the block that the glowing torch is on what you guys want to do is put down a row of dirt on both sides how easy is that then what you guys want to do is hit the hitbox of the redstone torch that is not lit up you guys just want to hit the hitbox with the block and it should place a block down and you just want to make a row out of that and in the middle somewhere guys make sure to put down a piece of glowstone or something like that to keep the farm lit up so it looks nice and the sugar cane can grow that what you guys want to do and at the end of the row you guys want to put down your block and then put your water down again and then you guys want to put your sugar cane on top of the dirt like you did the first time then after that what you guys want to do is put your blocks right behind the sugar canes on both sides then you guys want to put your pistons on top of those blocks then after that what you guys want to do is put blocks behind the pistons again and do the same thing guys on both sides obviously and then you guys want to put some redstone on those blocks again how easy is that and there you guys have it you have successfully learned how to actually make this farm and how to actually stack it anyways let's move on to the timer part of this farm that will make this whole farm run by itself so you never need to push a button or push a lever this thing will work by itself alrighty guys the first thing that you guys want to do is go under the first set of redstone torches you guys place down you guys want to put down another set of torches then under that what you guys want to do is put another set of torches down and under those torches what you guys want to do is put down another set of torches but since I am in a flat land world unfortunately I can't do that but I want you guys to do it because without those set of torches this farm will not work alrighty guys the next part that I'm about to do assume that you have put all those torches 
torches down like I've told you in the beginning. Alright, so what you guys want to do is connect up the redstone torches like I am doing in the background. Then what you guys want to do is put down a repeater on no ticks. And then behind that what you guys want to do is put down a redstone comparator. And then behind that what you guys want to do is put down a dropper. And guys, this has to be a dropper because otherwise this won't work. And guys, make sure to put this dropper facing upwards like I'm doing in the background. And then what you guys want to do is put a hopper on top of that. Then you guys want to skip a block and then put a block down. And on that block, you guys want to have a redstone torch facing the dropper. Then after that, what you guys want to do is put down a piece of redstone. And then in front of that piece of redstone, what you guys want to do is put down a sticky piston. You guys want to skip two blocks and then put another sticky piston facing the first sticky piston. Then behind that sticky piston, what you guys want to do is put down a piece of redstone. And then right beside that piece of redstone, what you guys want to do is put down a block. And then you guys want to have a comparator facing into the block. Then you guys want to put hoppers facing into each other like I'm doing in the background. And in one of the hoppers, guys, you guys want to place down at least two stacks of items and make sure there are 120 hit blocks don't be like 16 signs there we go it's a stack of items make sure to put in 128 blocks total because without this the timer will go too fast and then there will be no chance for the sugarcane to grow and there you guys have it you have successfully built yourself a fully automatic sugarcane farm that will get you a ton of sugar for all your sugarcane purposes anyways let's move on to the collection area probably the easiest part of this farm all right so what you guys want to do is in front of your farm, you guys want to skip a block, you guys want to put down a double chest, and then behind that double chest, what you guys want to do is put a hopper facing into the chest. And there you guys have it, you have successfully built your collection area as well. And with that guys, you have built your whole farm. How simple was that? Like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, this is probably one of the simplest sugarcane farms you will ever make in Minecraft. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like. Again, let's go for 30 likes on this video, and you guys can freaking do it. And also guys, make sure to subscribe because I'm posting daily awesome ass Minecraft content on my channel. And also, if you guys would like to help me out and support me on this channel and donate, there are some rewards for you. But remember, guys, you guys don't have to donate a lot. Every little bit counts. Anyways, again, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, motherfuckers.